Hey guys, how to sell on Amazon in 2021? Four working strategies. Let's dive straight into this. Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys what are the main working strategies that we have on Amazon, their pros and cons, their minuses and pluses, the profitability, how exactly it works, how much money can you make, and etc. Okay, there are many working strategies on Amazon, not just four. There is drop shipping, there's online arbitrage, there's you know online retail arbitrage, the same thing. There is also wholesale, there's private label, there's white labeling, there's Amazon flipping. There is quite few out there, but I'm going to outline outline the main four right now on this video. Okay, so the first one that we're going to start with is drop shipping, the drop shipping strategy uh, to sell on Amazon. Okay, and the drop shipping is something I've been doing for a long time myself. And we're talking about the traditional drop shipping from retailers, okay? So the retail drop shipping business model, when we drop shipping from suppliers like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, and etc. This model does work. However, it does carry its own risks, and you gotta understand, okay? It carries the risk of getting your account suspended. Now, if you're brand new, do not start with drop shipping because you get your account suspended. That's one thing that you got to keep in mind. Rule number one, Amazon allows drop shipping. They're completely fine with drop shipping. Okay. But they allow certain type of drop shipping. So you can drop ship if you are, how many times I've said drop shipping already? <laughs> you can drop ship from private suppliers, private drop shipping suppliers that will ship products in your own box with your own logo. You cannot do it from the retailers. If they see that you're doing a drop shipping from retailers, they will get you suspended. They will give you like a warning. They will get you suspended forever after this. Now, on the brand new accounts, you will get the check right away. They will ask you, what are you doing? You'll get an authentic suspension from the beginning. Now, if you have an old account, like a season account, if you've done some FBA on it, or you have an old account, you can do drop shipping from retailers and you're probably gonna get away if you stay on the radar, if you keep your metrics healthy and etc. That's one thing. Now, if you wanna do drop shipping, you can do it from the private suppliers like I already mentioned, okay? That's different. And that's not really something that everybody do because everybody likes the idea of the golden mine business opportunity where you don't have to invest a single dime into the products. Right, that's what the drop shipping is. You don't put any money into the products. You only put the money after you make a sale, which is pretty much the same thing because you get paid out once every two weeks on Amazon. Yes, you don't invest in products, uh, money into the products upfront like you do with FBA, but you still have your money stuck in the Amazon, um, on your Amazon account. So there's not much difference. Yes, there is a risk of not selling your products if you're doing FBA and etc. But put it this way, there is also a risk of wasting your time when you're listing bad products when you're doing drop shipping because yes if you list your products incorrectly you will not be able to make a sale on those items that you're trying to uh drop ship from other retailers walmart you know target and you know not target home depot those are like the traditional drop shipping supplies that we're using okay the retail drop shipping supplies okay so that's the first strategy i don't recommend it to the beginners to the advanced sellers with all the accounts you can do it but you got to keep it on your own risk okay the second strategy is online retail arbitrage that's an amazon fba strategy you can either do merchant fulfill on amazon which is fbm that's the first strategy which is doing drop shipping and the second strategy is doing online arbitrage doing amazon fba which is fulfilled by Amazon, you sending your products into Amazon, okay? Now, retail and online arbitrage is the same thing. Retail is when you're going to the retail, online is when you're sourcing online, you know, it's the same thing, right? It's just the, the naming is, is a little bit different, so you, so you understand, it's called OA and RA, okay? Now, that's when you're sourcing from retailers too, but you're buying them ahead of time, you're doing FBA. So you're buying from Walmart on a clearance, or you go to Target, you have a variety of different suppliers open in front of you because you can source from anywhere. With drop shipping, it's difficult because a lot of the retailers don't, uh, they, they cancel your orders and they will not ship out individual items to different addresses and etc. With FBA, you will have no such issue because you can just go and buy anything at any retail store. As long as you can see the product is flipping for the profit on Amazon, you can go and buy it and then you ship it over to Amazon yourself or you're going to use a prep center, however you want to do it. Okay, so that's online retail arbitrage. I forgot to mention the margins. In drop shipping, you have like six, 7% net margin. With retail online arbitrage, it's gonna be higher, like 10, 15%. So the profit is also higher 
when you're doing um, you know uh, online arbitrage retail arbitrage okay now also the entry point is very easy you don't need to have a company or anything for this you can just set up an individual account and start doing this and average Joe can do this and that's why I recommend doing online arbitrage and that's why I'm super excited about it okay and that's why I'm teaching this inside my Amazon coaching course free in one as a main strategy plus I do wholesale and drop shipping there as well which we're also going to talk about in this video or you know I've talked about drop shipping already okay you can check out the course by the way in my in description um, below this video as well once you finish watching this video make sure to watch till the end guys okay by the way if you enjoy the content smash the like button guys and leave a comment if you have some questions okay so um, that's the second strategy uh, sourcing from retailers any budget can begin you can have started like 500 700 thousand dollars you don't have to have loads of money to begin, okay? But of course, the more you have, the better it is because all numbers game on Amazon, okay? The third strategy is wholesale sourcing brands, okay? I forgot to mention again that for the second strategy, online retail arbitrage, there is slight risk for your account because you are sourcing from retailers and you do not you do not have a direct authorization to resell the brands to resell the products so you can have a suspension on amazon as well but the chance is so tiny if you're doing things correctly you will not have any issues plus amazon does not mind um, accepting the fba receipts because they see that you're doing fba you are storing your products inside amazon you're not doing drop shipping so that's the difference even though you're still sourcing from retailers that's how they look at it okay i've never seen a single account being suspended because of online arbitrage um you know if appealed properly if submitted properly but the suspensions chance are very low because you're doing fba amazon sees the products that you're sending in and that's the difference okay so uh, but you do not have a direct um authorization uh unlike you do with wholesale which i'm going to explain to you guys right now you know in the third strategy okay so the third strategy you're selling the same brands but you're buying them directly from the brands from distributors from the wholesalers okay and you getting a, a bulk price typically maybe cheaper a lot of the times cheaper than you buy from the retailers okay that's just the way it works and you have replenishable inventory that you can go buy and uh, sell again and again and again and again all right which is cool right with wholesale you have direct authorization to resell the products as well that's amazing too right you can just go and uh, give amazon uh, the paper the invoice and show them that you are selling with the authorization and you're good to go okay with retail arbitrage you cannot really do that but they're still fine with that anyway but because you're doing fba like i already explained but with wholesale you just give them this if in case you get suspended low chance of getting suspended as well i mean unless someone reports you for ip uh, ip claims or whatever i mean you get ip claim or trademark violation but again you will get you have all the invoices in front of you and you are buying from the legal authorized wholesaler or a distributor okay well, you got to also check who you're sourcing from and that's the part of the game okay so that you guys understand so that's the wholesale model okay and um, the net margins in this model are around the same as online arbitrage a little bit higher generally speaking maybe uh, 15 to 20 percent net margin i mean let's talk about roy maybe 20 to 30 percent roy on average return of investment can get as high as 40 percent you know 50 percent on some individual items it really depends what you're buying what you're sourcing some items will sell for more profit some items will sell for less profit and you're doing amazon fba in this model okay that's the third model okay the fourth model and the final one for today is called private labeling and you probably know about it okay you 100 percent should know about private label if you're watching this video and you are uh somehow involved in the amazon industry or you've just been searching as a beginner as a newbie because private label is a model where everyone uh, pretty much looks at because that's amazing you can go and establish your own product you create a listing from scratch uh, opposite to the first three models where you're piggybacking on the listing you sell what sells already you sell under the existing products with the sales rank with private label and you creating your own product now the pros and cons of course you're sourcing products from china from alibaba and etc so delivery time to get to get yourself started is at least three months now after that you know apart from the lengthy waiting time you gotta understand that you have to put more money than you do with the first three models well at least the first two if you because you know we're talking about fba models right now but the um, you know the online arbitrage wholesale you can begin with like a thousand two thousand dollars online arbitrage with like less wholesale maybe like two three k at least depending on the moq minimum order quantity of the wholesalers and etc but with the actual 
private label, I don't recommend starting with less than $10,000, okay? And I don't really teach private labeling myself, but we do run automation services for our clients, which is called China. Uh, it's one of my automation services. You can check out the link below in the description as well, which is China Private Label. And we give out the best products to our customers. And I know for the fact that $10,000 is something that uh, we recommend clients to have because that will be enough to cover your expenses. That'll be that'll be enough to cover your uh, buyouts, your any room for errors, for mistakes, for the marginality in case other sellers decide to uh, drop down the prices so we can compete still and etc. Because it depending on a product, okay, as well as the PPC expenses, the marketing costs, you know, the SEO ranking, you must have enough for that stuff. Of course, you can start private labeling or have two or 3,000, you can buy a product from China cheap. But again, guys, that's not talking about the quality, that's talking more about just getting started, okay? You can start with pretty much any amount of private label, I would say from like a thousand and above, but it's all about how much you know. And it's important to understand that private label requires a lot more knowledge than any other model out there that I've just mentioned, okay? You gotta know way more. You gotta know how to create a listing from scratch, uh, to, to rank it properly. Make sure you create a proper listing with the all the titles, all the keywords and everything. So it ranks well on Amazon. Do your SEO, do your PPC, do your buyouts, uh, how to um, talk to the suppliers, to freight forwarders, how to negotiate things with the Chinese vendors. All this kind of stuff is way more complex than the second and the third model in this video. So that's just the way I look at it, okay? Of course, the ROI there can get up to like 100%, 100,000, 100%, 200% ROI because your own products, you're sourcing them dirt cheap. But hey, if you're a newbie, I do not recommend starting private labeling. If you are an advanced seller, absolutely, private label works. I'm not gonna say it doesn't work because I don't really teach it myself, but I know how to do it because we have our own products in our warehouse as well, uh, in our Amazon account and in our warehouse too. And um, like I've said, private labeling is, um, it's not a way for the beginners because you must have a substantial amount of cash uh, to cover any room for errors and you must have a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge and patience at the beginning. And everyone, everyone wants to start fast. Everyone wants to see the first sales, to see that the model is working, to prove the concept and etc. So private labeling, you know, great but not for the beginners all right guys so that was all to summarize everything for today hopefully you've enjoyed this video this was a video about how to sell on amazon in 2021 the four working strategies for you guys right now if you enjoy this content don't forget to smash the like button guys super important leave the comments below if you have some questions for me check out my other content the playlists um, all the links below or free facebook group my amazon coaching course if you want to become my student and etc also in the pinned comment, check it out as well. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.